Good morning. Welcome back to Get a Chance of Farms. And just out here, it's five o'clock in the morning. A little cold today, more like fall weather, huh? Yeah. Maybe you should put some pants on, huh? I'm fine with my sweatshirt on today, but now I'm Yeah. A little more chillier than a pair of shorts. Not for sure how what the temperature is supposed to be today. It's warmer than this. Let's see. And we're going to be outside. I think it's only like... Temperature right now is only 51. High of 75 today. Trying to get the chores done this morning before I leave for work and they go to school. So Taylor decided to come out and help us. While we're doing the milking, Brittany's up there feeding the cat. Brittany, I got brownie and uh, Coco. chickens will be 21 weeks tomorrow so they should be getting pretty much any day now they should be 
start. I know two of them are actually starting before the last. Yeah. The two of them are dancing like reddish green. Yeah, but the two red ones actually are behind there. We got them later. Remember about a the reds were but they're like a week or two behind the, the ones we hatched, if I remember right. Yeah, we go. They should be like exactly. We have five. Oh, that one. This one was in the, the piglet um, box. Oh, I, I thought I heard one. I knew there was one. Yeah, it was in the piglet box. When the first time we found so it. So there's four out on the ground. And then there's this one. Wait, maybe that's. Oh, the one that we always see in the milkshake. It's a boy. Two boys and a girl. Two, two boys and a girl. We have five babies. I knew they were All right, the morning milking's done. Uh, Brittany's feeding hay to in the goat pen and to Brownie, and we're gonna go inside and get some breakfast. So. Well, I was melting wax today, and I get into our wax capping bucket, and I see that there's lots of honey down there in the bottom, so. I just decided to come out here and allow the bees, which there is one down there right now. I don't know if you can see her, but she's down there somewhere. There she is. Right about there. Down there, collecting all that honey that they worked so hard for before we pull the supers off, so. Better than to have it then wash it off of the wax capping so I can melt them to make more wax bars to sell. So right now I'm melting down the wax cappings that we, when we extracted the honey. So we just use this little Presto pot with this adapter. Um, to it to uh, allow the the honey to come through so it's just a valve I can't remember what size it is but <clears throat> just drill a hole in the the bottom or close to the bottom and uh, attach that and then I fill it up with a little bit of water during the first time because you usually have to go and um, melt it down a couple times depending on which wax you're melting. This one I may only have to do one more time after this one. So it'll melt all the way down to its liquid and then I'll drain it into like a loaf pan and uh, before it goes into the loaf pan I use a, a real fine strainer and it'll get out like the bees and other stuff that's not like the wax so it's what I'm doing today to uh, melt it down and form some more of our wax bars that we sell at the farmers market well as you can see they didn't have no problem trying to find the bucket so that is the bucket that has the wax cappings from when we extracted the honey. All them bees over there in the bucket right there are collecting what honey is left in there. And then I'll come back however long it takes for them to 
clean the honey out and I'll take the wax back up to the house and melt it down so I can put them into the little bars that we can sell. Hey, we're out here in the barn milking for our nightly chores. Mm -hmm. Michaela's there wa washing. Taylor's getting the food. She's waiting patiently. <laughs> yeah. She's like, hurry up. I'm hungry. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> you about got me. So I finished up with the um, melting the beeswax and still we go to pick the girls up and I got bees covering the doorway and uh, my mistake was I was melting the wax with the windows open so they got some good smellers I guess. And they were all flying around the window and by the doors trying to get in. Well, they were probably out foraging and then they smelled the beeswax. Right. My chair. You gotta fix it. You gotta fix it before I... You almost done? Bust No, she don't have no food. Go, oh, give her some food so we can go. You got to give her a handful first and then she'll have to wait. Now, pour the rest in. Oh, go the other side. of the stuff done hopefully she'll be feeding brownie and checking on the chickens and giving coco some food and hopefully we'll be done in time but uh we can get some of that um, on video maybe i guess the hay You're sliding, dude. Check the bucket when we was walking back here of the other wax with the honey in it. The bees are still covering it. So I guess I'll wait till 
almost dark time and I'll go out and check it when they all go back to their hive to uh, see how much they've gotten down and then I'll probably stick the lid back on the bucket and bring it back in that way no critters or anything else tries to get it overnight Well, just go check everyone's water and see if they need any. Because you can do that, right? <coughs> Bless you. And Mom, don't worry. I made sure to cover my okay, that's good. mouth so it doesn't go into the milk. That's good. Because that'd just be disgusting. Did you get your chair fixed? Uh, yeah. No, she didn't. I still see the leg on the ground. So, just be careful so you don't fall over. I am. You don't want to get that on video, do you? Nope. <laughs> Give everybody a laugh. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Hey, sit still. I don't really want to see it fall. warmed up since this morning. Tay was out here earlier milking and said she it was freezing in the morning but it was only I think 55 degrees out. I think now it's closer to that 80 degrees. I'm almost done. I don't know why you keep on sliding that leg back. You want to stay back here with her? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when she gets done, then you can uh, release her head and let her come back up. You said you couldn't get this door? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, Just grab the thingy down there. There we go. I got it. Okay, so she's laid. So usually it's down. Twenty. Watch out! You got chickens behind you. Nothing. They won't be able to see in there. It's dark. So no eggs? No. Let's see. Count the chickens to see if they're all in here. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, Thirteen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We don't have fifteen. 
goofball. We only have 13. All right. Well, we didn't find any eggs from Katie today. We got to still feed uh, hay, right? Yeah. Okay. Because you said we don't have to feed the cows. Okay. You want to? Then I'll get that. There's four, five. Five. Five kitties in there. Kittens. So, here's three. There's, uh, six. Right here's three. There's one. And there's another one. So, um, we have three girls and two boys. So, we're just feeding hay to our goats. Which are in... Here. Yeah. Sure. There. That one um, right there that's closest to me is Coco and that's our chocolate. I can't see. Not just coming out here to check on the bucket as you can see. Oh, maybe. Let me zoom in a little bit. As you can see, a lot of bees are over there going in and robbing out that honey that's in the bucket. So, we'll come back out here later to check when it gets dark and they all go back to their hive for the night. So, hope you enjoy watching the videos. If you do, give us a big thumbs up. If you like the content, please share it with all your family and friends on any of your social media and if you're new to us thank you for subscribing we appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one have a nice day bye